Hello students, I'm Professor Navneet Kaur from EC Department, SIRT, Bhopal. Today I'll be discussing the topic flat top sampling under the subject digital communication. Flat top sampling is a type of pulse amplitude modulation in which the top of the carrier's pulses are flat. That means they have constant amplitude. Now, the advantage of the flat top sampling is that during transmission, noise is introduced at the top of the transmission pulse, which can be easily removed if the pulse is in the form of a flat top. In flat top sampling, the amplitude of the pulses after sampling is kept constant, and top of the sample pulses do not follow the contour of the modulated signal unlike natural sampling. Mathematically, the flat top sample signal can be generated from the convolved sequence of the non-periodic pulse HT and train of impulses X delta T. Here, the amplitude of the impulses varies according to the message signal. So this X delta T signal is known as instantaneous sample signal or ideal sample signal. So here we can see the flat top sample signal is represented by ST, which is given by the convolution of the non-periodic pulse HT and the ideal sample signal X delta T. Now, this ideal sample signal can be represented by summation of k is equal to minus infinity to infinity x k t s delta t minus k t s, where k is an integer which will take value from minus infinity to plus infinity. Now, we can write integer k as n also. So, here in summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x n t s delta t minus n t s. So, in previous slide, we have discussed that flat top sample signal ST is given by convolution of X delta T and HT. So, according to the formula of convolution, I'll write minus infinity to infinity X delta U HT minus U DU. Now, substituting the value of X delta U, I will use this expression. In this expression, I'll write U in place of T and will substitute in the formula of the convolution. So here I'll write integration minus infinity to infinity summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x and t s delta u minus n t s. So this expression is obtained from this expression of x delta t. Now h t minus u t u will give the remaining expression here. Now I'll rearrange this expression. So I'll write summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x n t s integration minus infinity to infinity delta u minus n t s h t minus u d u. Here we can see that we have unit impulse function which is located at n t s and this unit impulse function is multiplied by another time dependent signal h. Now, from the shifting property of the delta function, we know that whenever a shifted unit impulse function is multiplied by another time dependent function, then we will get this time dependent function, which will be located at the uh, time instant where this delta t is shifted. So, I'll get ft naught. Now, using this shifted in property of the delta function, I'll see that here the unit impulse function is located at nts now so according to the shifting property the value of this signal ht minus u will be evaluated at the location at which this unit impulse function is shifted so i'll take here it as nts so i'll write summation x nts ht minus nts now, according to this expression, this expression represents value of ST in terms of sampled value X and TS and function HT minus NTS, which is the train of pulses uh, shift, uh, repeating it after every TS. So, I will get the flat top sample signal in which I will get the train of the pulses 
whose amplitude will vary according to the x and t s and these pulses will repeat it after every t s the sample and hole circuit is used for the generation of the flat top sample signal so here in this sample and hole circuit i can see two switches s1 sampling switch and s2 which is discharge switch and this is the capacitor across which the flat top sample signal is taken and xt is the message signal the switch s1 closes at each sampling instant to sample the modulating signal so here the capacitor c will get charged to the voltage xt it will hold after that the switch s1 will get will be opened so capacitor c will hold this uh, char, uh, voltage for period tau at the end of which switch s2 will be closed which will get, uh, make a path for the discharging of the capacitor so here the discharging time will be very less because the forward resistance of the discharge switch is very less so rc discharging time will be very small so capacitor will get discharged instantaneously so the flat top sample voltage which will be taken across the capacitor will will reduce instantaneously to zero voltage so the signal will be generated as a result of sample and hole process will be the flat top sample signal so here we can see the message signal and this is the instantaneous sample signal now here we can see the periodic train of pulses and this is the flat top sample signal which will be given by the convolution of the instantaneous sample signal and the non periodic pulse ht now here we have seen that for the generation of flat top sample signal the convolution of non periodic pulse and instantaneous sample signal is taken when we will take the frequency domain representation it will give the multiplication of the fourier transform of ht and x delta t now the fourier transform of ht which is non periodic pulse will be the sampling function or sink function now when the spectrum of the instantaneous sample signal which is the spectrum of message signal xt repeating after every sampling frequency when it will be the when it will be multiplied by the sampling function there will be distortion at the higher frequency component of the message spectrum so the this results in the attenuation in the high frequency part of the message spectrum thus the sample signal in the flat flat top sampling will consist of attenuated high frequency components and this distortion is known as aperture effect this distortion results from the fact that the spectrum is multiplied by sampling function which is given by sin x a by x this aperture effect can be improved by selecting value of pulse fit tau to be very small or by using equalizer circuit equalizer circuit is a passive circuit which will have transfer function which will be the inverse of the sampling function sin x by x so here we can see that this is the generated flat top sample signal which will be given to the reconstruction low pass filter now after after getting the output of the low pass filter the signal will be given to the equalizer circuit the equalizer circuit will have a transfer function inverse of that of a sampling function sin x by x so the aperture effect will be eliminated here and the signal which will get will be your message signal now this is all about the flat top sample signal now this is all for today's lecture